Have you ever had bad luck or a bad day? Let's follow our main character, Leo, to see what bad luck he will go through. I heard you want to take a day off. Yeah, I took off this Saturday. Do you have any plans for the weekend? My wife and I have planned a beach trip this weekend. This sounds great. We're both busy with work. We haven't had time for each other for a long time. This is a good opportunity to cherish our love. My wife and I have not traveled together for a long time. What a shame. Make some plans. I will. Last month I was going to go on a trip, but I was too busy. Well, last month we worked overtime for almost the whole month. Yep. So, there's one tiny problem. What's that? Well, our project just needs that last step completed. But my weekend is already planned. So, Carter, can you please handle it for me? Of course, just leave it to me. Thank you so much, I owe you big time. Don't mention it, all you need to do is have fun while traveling. Where will you go? Coronado, California. And what game are you planning to play? Game? Yep, yeah, it makes the trip more fun. I haven't planned any games. Do you have any suggestions? You can play the hobby guessing game to get to know each other better. Good idea! Whoever guesses wrong gets paint on their face. Or play a game of saying what you like about the other person. Thanks, Carter. That'll be fun. You're welcome. Finally traveling together! Yeah, I'm so excited. When was the last time we traveled together? Let's see. After we got married, we went on our honeymoon to Hawaii. And that's it. Oh, really? Yep. Are we working too much? Yes, we are. We have to have fun on this trip. Of course we will! I have prepared some exciting games. We can play at the beach or in the hotel. Games? Yep. Sounds interesting. I can't wait. You'll like them. Oh, honey, I think I forgot to bring the sunscreen. We're too far from home to go back. We can buy it at the grocery store. Okay. There's a grocery store near here. Let's go there. Stay here and wait for me a moment. I'll get some sunscreen and be right back. Okay, take your time, honey. Are you and your girlfriend going on a trip? Yes. Actually, she's my wife. So sweet. How old are you? I'm 30 years old. Still young. Want to buy a lottery ticket? I don't believe in things like winning the lottery. Just for fun. Well, I'm pretty happy today, so I'll take one. Great. Here you are. Thanks. I'll take this one. Five dollars, please. Here you are. Thanks. Have a nice trip. Thank you. What's wrong, honey? 
I guess we blew a tire. What are we supposed to do? I'll fix it. Do you know how to fix it? Of course. I've watched YouTube. Okay, let's fix it. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm almost done. Finally. Great! But I feel a bad omen. Me too, but don't think negatively. It's true that the tire has blown out, but I fixed it. Yeah, you're right. We can continue the trip with joy. Let's go. Yeah! Are you sure this is the hotel we booked? Yeah, Rose Hotel. It's the right address. Well, it looks so different. Maybe it's better on the inside. Yeah, I hope so. I have a reservation for today. Name? Leo Collins. A king room with a view of the ocean for two nights? Correct. Room 407, fourth floor. Okay. What's wrong with her? She must have quarreled with her boyfriend. Here's your key. Thanks. We're quite hungry because of the long trip. Do you know any good restaurants nearby? No. Okay. Do you smell something? Yes, that's tobacco. I hate it. I can't believe this. It looks like there's a missing pillow on the bed. Honey, should we change hotels? But I've already paid by card. So we have to stay. Who's ready to go to the beach? Me! Let's go. Oh, the beach is more crowded than I thought. Let's stay here. Okay. Honey, help me put sunscreen on my back. Sure, honey. We will finally have a great time at the beach. Yeah, after so much bad luck. Let's play that game you mentioned before. I want to swim first. Okay, let's swim together. Oh, no. Don't tell me. It's raining. Today is a really bad day. Everything we do has failed. You were right about the bad omen. The first thing was a blown tire. Then this hotel. Now the rain. Our trip after so many years turned out to be like this. Let's go have dinner. Maybe it will improve our mood. Dinner wasn't bad. Well, not bad, but not good either. Right. This whole day was a disappointment. I'm depressed. Oh, Leo, it's fine. We still have each other. The weather forecast says it will be sunny tomorrow. Tomorrow we will go to the beach again, okay? Okay. We can watch a good movie together now. And tomorrow, we'll go to the beach and watch the sunrise. That sounds great. What movie do you want to see? Mm, action movies or detective movies? Okay. Oh no. Carter. 
Leo, I honestly don't want to bother you. But the project has problems. We really need you. Right now? Not now, but we need you tomorrow. You're the only one who can fix this. I get it. Thank you, and I'm so sorry. See you tomorrow. I'll take a shower, then we'll go to bed early to get up to go back to work tomorrow. <gasps> oh my god! Honey, what happened? W one. One million. What do you mean? Our lottery ticket won one million dollars. What? Are you kidding me? No! Today is not that bad after all. I saw him playing basketball yesterday. Who's that boy over there, Hannah? I saw him playing basketball yesterday. Oh, that's my brother James. Your brother? Yes. And that's his girlfriend, Lucy. The pretty girl with long brown hair. Oh, right. So you have a brother. No, I've got two brothers. James and Alex. Really? And how old is Alex? Alex and James are twins. They're both 19. 19? Hmm... And does Alex look like James? They're exactly the same. They're both tall and thin. I think they're cute. How can you distinguish them from one another? They have some small differences if you know them long enough. This is my favorite bag. How do I look? You look stunning today! Where are you going? I'm going to the company party. But I think there is something weird. What is that? Your bag! My bag? This is my favorite bag. What's wrong with it? It doesn't match your outfit. Your dress is so fancy, but the bag is a bit normal. Jesus. Which bag should I bring with me? Let me see. How about that one? The white one? Let me try it. How do you feel? That's perfect! You look like a star today. Thank you. I respect him so much. Kathy, who is this? He isn't your dad, is he? No, he was my ninth grade homeroom teacher. Oh, wow. You kept the photo all this time. That's incredible. Yeah, I respect him so much. Do you still keep in touch with him? Yeah, we chat sometimes. In the past, I always visited him on Teacher's Day. However, he moved to another city two years ago, so we just send postcards on special days. Why do you respect him? He's a good teacher. He helped me to realize my self-value. Wow, what an amazing person! A scaredy cat. Where should we go tonight? I'm bored with the trick or treat game. Should we do something new? Do you have any ideas? There's a wooden house in the forest. Whoever's brave enough to knock on the door for candy wins. That sounds so exciting. No, it is too dangerous to go to the forest at night. 
<laughs> Scaredy cat. Today everyone is going out. Why are you so scared? No one ever goes near the forest. So Arthur and I will go. You can collect candies around our houses. I will tell mom your plan. You can't go. We had breakfast already. Long time no see. How are you? I'm great. How are you doing? I'm wonderful. Where's dad? He is gardening. Have you had breakfast? You can join me. We had breakfast already. Thank you. Yeah, we are full now. Do you want to try some peach tea? Isn't it your favorite? Yeah, that's perfect. I love it. Your peach tea is always the best. What did you have for breakfast today? Avocado toast and salad. Well, that sounds good. That looks old. Hi, I saw the vacancy sign outside and I'm looking for an apartment. Yes, I'm Sam. We have one unit available right now. When are you looking to move in? I'd like to move in on the first of the month. Okay, follow me and let me show you the unit. Each unit gets one parking space in the garage and there are laundry facilities here on the first floor. That looks old, but it works well. Here's the unit. Take a look around. Oh, this is nice. Is this a furnished unit? It can be furnished or unfurnished. Your choice. This apartment is exactly what I'm looking for. How much is the rent? It's $900 a month, and we require a six-month lease. You know me so well. That spaghetti looks really good. Yeah, it is. I had it the first time I was here. How's the pizza, Alice? It's good, but I think the pasta is better. What would you recommend? I'd recommend the lasagna. It's excellent. That sounds great. I'll have that. Would you like an appetizer? No, lasagna is more than enough for me. Okay, how about you? I think I'll have lasagna as well. Right, that's two lasagnas. Would you care for an appetizer? No, thanks. What would you like to drink? Would you like some beer, Ethan? You know me so well. Yeah, I would love it. Okay, we will have beer. Thank you. I'll get the drinks first. Thank you. He did not win the match. Did John come home? Yeah, he's in his room now. How was his match? I heard that it went well at first, but he didn't win. Oh, he must be really sad. He practiced so hard for it. Yeah, should we go talk to him? He may need someone by his side. No, we should leave him alone now. He may feel uncomfortable if someone sees his disappointed face. Okay, I see. We can prepare a big dinner for him. We can talk together then. That's a great idea. That's wrong. Excuse me. Yes, how can I help you? 
Sorry to disturb you, but I'm lost. I'm looking for the opera house. I tried to follow this map, but that's wrong. You're almost there. Can you give me directions to get there? Sure. Keep walking for a few more blocks and then turn left. Okay. Once you have turned left, follow the main road and take the first right turn. Okay. Turn left and then right. Then continue walking for a hundred meters and you should be able to see the opera house. Great. Thank you very much for your help. You're welcome. Call me if anything happens. Mom, my class is having a picnic this weekend. Can I go? Yes, of course. But you should ask Dad. Dad, I have something to tell you. Okay, just tell me. My class is going on a picnic this weekend. I want to go. Who's going with you? Everyone in my class. And for how many days? Only for two days. When will your class go? Tomorrow after school. Okay, you may go. Yeah! Thank you, Dad. Remember to keep your phone with you. Call me if anything happens. I got it. I'm so nervous. Oh my gosh, what is happening here? I dropped a cup of coffee. It splattered on the floor. You should clean it up right now. Mr. Greg is coming. He will be angry if the floor is dirty. Yeah, I'm going to clean it up right now. Hurry, go get the mop. Can you clean it with me? I don't know if I can clean it before he comes. I'm so nervous. Yes, it would be done quickly if we did it together. Thanks so much. A tall order. Why do you look so stressed? I have a heavy workload. Oh, you are still working on the weekend? I thought today is your day off. Yeah, today is my day off. But my boss wants me to finish all of this work by next Tuesday. Oh my god, it's a tall order. Today is already Saturday. Yeah, I know. I'm going to have to work through the weekend. Did you tell him that? No one can match this deadline. Should I tell him to extend the deadline? Yes, you should. You should tell him in advance. You are my only friend here. Leo, sorry for calling this late. Hey, Tina, what's up? Are you busy now? Can you help me, please? Yeah, I'm home now. What happened? My car is broken. I don't know what to do. Can you please help me? You are my only friend here. It's okay. Where are you now? I'm on the forest side road, which is two kilometers from the gas station. I'll send you the location. Okay, I will come in a few minutes. We will figure out a solution. Thanks so much. Don't mention it. Wait for me inside your car. It is a bit dangerous at night. I'm all ears. I heard you changed your job. Is that true? Yeah, I just had an interview last week. Did you pass it? Yeah, I got the result yesterday. Thank God. 
It is my dream job. Wow, congrats. So tell me about your new job. I'm all ears. It is my dream job in my dream company. Finally, I got the job as a chief accountant. How's your new company? It's a leading company in the technology field. I heard that the working environment is good. That's nice. When will you start? Next Monday. I am so excited. It's only a matter of time. Wow, whose are these paintings? They're mine. Oh my, you know how to paint? When did you paint them? I don't remember. I started studying painting when I was 18 years old. How many paintings do you have now? I haven't counted yet. Maybe 10, give or take. Your paintings are incredible. It's only a matter of time before you become famous. I just like painting. I don't think I will be famous for it. You will, for sure. If you want, I can help you sell them. Really? Yeah, I know someone who can help. Any luck? What are you doing? I'm looking for my car key. I think I dropped it when I was gardening. Oh my, it is too hard to find a small thing in a large area, especially a garden. I must, it is the only one. Where is the spare key? I lost one when I was at the festival last month, so this one is the last one. Good luck. Otherwise, you will have to get a locksmith for this one. I know. That's why I'm trying. Any luck? Not yet, but it must be here somewhere. Should I buy this dress? I help you? Yes. How much is that skirt? It is sixty dollars. Can I try it on? Yes. What is your size? I don't know. You should try a size tan. Okay. Where is the changing room, please? The changing room is over there. Do you have it in a bigger size? Yes, here you are. It is a size 11. Thank you. Hey, Lily, how do I look? Should I buy this dress? Wow, yes. You look so amazing in that skirt. Really? I also like it. I'm going to wear it to my sister's wedding. I am her bridesmaid. You will be the most beautiful bridesmaid. He didn't pass the test. Hey, what happened with Ben? He looks so sad. He didn't pass the test. Oh my, he told me he did well. Yeah, I thought so. I don't know what happened. I think he should ask Mr. James to check it again. He did. However, Mr. James told him that he needs to wait until next week. Why does it take so long? The test is kept in the head teacher's room, that's why. He prepared so well for this test. He must be so disappointed about it. I think Mr. James made a mistake and Ben would pass the test after rechecking. I hope so. I need to relax today.
Do you want to go shopping with me today? So sorry. I need to relax today. I have had a long, hard work week. I know. That's why you need to go out and inhale the fresh air. I know. However, I stayed up late yesterday to finish a report. I think I had better go to sleep early today. Okay, I see. You look exhausted anyway. We can get together next week. I understand. No worries. By the way, is that report for the year-end event? Yes, it is. She's the one he's been waiting for. Why is he standing there? He has been there for one hour. He's waiting for a special person. Who is that? His girlfriend, probably. Hey, a girl is coming. Yeah, she's the one he's been waiting for. Lisa Sampson. I have never seen her before. Yeah, she just came back from Chicago. How do you know her? Mike, Lisa, and I were in the same high school. What a surprise! She was one of the most famous girls in our school at that time. I don't know why she loves Mike. Their relationship has lasted until now. How romantic they are! Be yourself. None of the girls at school wanted to be my friend. Why aren't they interested in being your friends? Because I don't dress like them. Nothing is wrong with the way you dress. Their music preferences are also different from mine. Just listen to the music you like. They curl their hair. Doing so every day harms your hair. Maybe if I change, I will be able to become their friend. Just be yourself. So, who will be my friend then? I am your friend. I like you now. Watch your brother. Are you free this afternoon? This afternoon? I have to look after my brother. Where are your parents? My parents have to go to work this afternoon. Is your brother naughty? Yes, my brother is extremely naughty. How old is your brother? He's six years old. Naughty children are always annoying. True. He's always running around everywhere. We can leave him at home and hang out. No, if my parents knew they would scold me. A day at the beach. It's a bit cold today, isn't it? Right, so we can't go swimming. We could be on the shore building a sandcastle. Dad, I forgot to bring the buckets. Then we can go for a walk on the beach. If we're lucky, we'll catch some crabs. Baby, do you want ice cream? I love it! What flavor of ice cream do you want? I want to eat strawberry ice cream. All right. We'll go buy ice cream and go for a walk on the beach. Yes! We will watch the sunset too! Now fight! You threw snow at your brother? Yes, Mom! Why did you do that? It was a snowball fight. 
He said he had no idea you were playing. He should have known once he felt the snowball. What does this have to do with the snowman? He broke my snowman! So you threw snow at him? You should treat your brother better. He ought to be friendlier to my snowman! Go apologize and play nicely. Only if he says he's sorry first. Family photo. Can Spotty be included in the family photo? No, he can't. Dogs are pets, not members of the family. Spotty is older than me. But it's still not human. He is very smart. So what? What if we put a hat on him? What makes you think you'd want to do that? Then he'll look just like my younger brother. Do you really want Spotty to take a picture with us? Of course! He's also like a member of the family. Okay, he's in the picture, but he's not wearing a hat. Weekends at Grandma's Why didn't you answer my phone yesterday? I'm sorry, my grandma took my phone! For what purpose did she do that? My grandmother said it was too late to talk on the phone. You promised to call me at 9 p.m. That's the time she sent me to bed! Is 9 p.m. too early to go to bed? My grandmother said that it's her usual bedtime. I suppose old folks need to sleep more. Not at all. She woke me up at 5 a.m. today. Oh my goodness. Now I'm extremely sleepy. Having a brother. Did you go for a walk with your brother yesterday? No, he's my next door neighbor. Do you always go for walks with him? Right, we take the dog for a walk every night. Do your parents know him? Yes, my parents have known him since he was a child. He might as well be your brother. I'd rather have close pals than a brother. Why do you say that? Brothers always quarrel over little matters. Are you afraid he'll take your stuff? No, I'm afraid he'd take my girlfriend. Sisterly Advice How can I make a boy like me? Just be yourself and act normally in his presence. That's something I already do, and I'm still without a lover. You will, once you find the proper boy. How do I know? You'll realize that when you fall in love. How can I tell whether I'm in love? They're always on your mind. Anything else? You'll do whatever it takes to impress them. When will I meet the right person? Don't worry. Just be patient. Brotherly love. I warned you not to enter my room. I just want to borrow a pencil. You're always inventing excuses. My explanations are not justifications. All you want to do is snoop in my room. What? I don't want to be in your stinky room. Then don't get inside it. So help me find what I want. Okay. What do you want? Won't you be upset with me? 
But only if you agree not to irritate me. I agree. Can you lend me a pencil right now? Fruit or vegetable? Very strange tomatoes. What's so strange about it? My father used them to make a cake the other day. This is a bit uncommon. In addition, tomatoes are often added to salads. I know. Vegetables are not commonly used in desserts. Tomatoes are a kind of fruit. That's like claiming that strawberries aren't actually berries. They aren't, in fact. I feel as though I've been misled my entire life. At the very least, you can use them both in salads. Frozen or takeout? I'm starving. Why don't you heat up dinner? I'm sick of eating frozen stuff. When you heat it up, it's no longer frozen. You understand what I mean. Would you want to order a pizza? Two days ago we had pizza. So, what do you want to eat? I don't know. Should we go out to eat? Only if you drive yourself. On second thought, I would reheat the food. You're the laziest person I've ever met. Cake. My son's birthday is tomorrow. Are you going to make a cake for him? Yes, I'm thinking about that. How do you want to make the cake? That's what I'm unsure of. Well, all children adore chocolate. That's correct, but it's loaded with sugar. Why don't you make the vanilla cake? Also a good idea. I wonder if the kids like them? Or you can make a two-tier cake. Great. If you need help, let me know. Snacks. I'm so hungry. Haven't you had breakfast yet? No, I had breakfast. So now you are still hungry? Yeah. Perhaps I'll start taking snacks to work. You may keep them in the cafeteria refrigerator. I'm afraid others will eat it. Hmm, maybe. I have an idea. I could write my name on the containers. That's an excellent idea. But what types of food should I bring? Some pastries or fresh fruit? Hello, David. It's me, Peter. Oh my god, my old buddy Peter. Yeah, it's been a while since we last talked. Yeah, right. How have you been? I've been all right. How about you? How's your family? I'm good, thanks. Everyone is fine. It's good to hear that. I'm so glad finals are over. Yeah, they were a bit tough, weren't they? Yeah, you can say that again. Anyway, how are you planning to spend vacation? I'm gonna go visit my granny. She's a bit ill these days, and this is the perfect chance to see her. Oh, I hope that everything's fine. My dad is away on business, so it's just me and my mom for the summer. Why don't you and your mom join me at granny's house? Is that okay? 
Of course! Plus, her birthday is coming soon. She will be overjoyed. That's so sweet. I'll ask my mom. We will have so much fun together. By the way, are you free for a coffee sometime in the next few days? That's a great idea. How about this Saturday? Great. Do you know any good coffee shops? The tiny cafe next to the golden building. Ah, I know that one. Hey, do you remember Adam? Adam? Do you mean the Hobbit? Exactly! Ha 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 ha! I haven't seen him in a while. Why do you mention him? Well, we emailed about three days ago. Is he still studying abroad? Yeah, but this Friday he will be back. Great. Why don't we ask him out for coffee? That's a great idea. Maybe we should get him a welcome back gift. Sure. What shall we give him? Hmm. How about a pair of shoes? But we don't know his shoe size. I have an idea and it will definitely be a perfect gift for him. What are you going to give him? You'll see. You make me curious. Well, gotta go now. Talk to you later. Okay, goodbye. See ya. Peter, over here. Good morning. How long have you been here? I just got here. Shall we order? Okay. Excuse me. May I order? Yes, here's your menu. Thank you. What would you like to order? I would like to order a cappuccino along with a blueberry cheesecake. And I want hot chocolate. Okay, one cappuccino, one blueberry cheesecake, and one hot chocolate. Right. Is there anything else that you would like to order? No, thank you, but I would like to ask something. Sure, sir. Where's the toilet? The toilet is over there. Thank you very much. But sir, please walk carefully. The floor is very slippery because we just mopped it. Okay, thanks for the heads up. No problem, sir. Where's Adam? He's on his way, I guess. Hey, that's Adam, right? It's him. Hey, Adam, we're here. Good morning. How are you? It's been a really long time. I'm good. How about you? Doing great. So what do you drink? An Americano, please. Okay. I'm happy that we can get together after all these years. Yes, a long time has passed. Yeah, these five long years have really been tough without you. I really missed your wise advice. Oh, don't say that. I am not good at giving advice. Anyway, how's your life in France? Pretty good. France is a beautiful country. How long are you home? I will stay here for about five weeks. After that, I will return to France to start the new semester. It feels so great that our childhood dreams are coming true. Yeah, Adam went to France to study fashion design. Peter and I entered a prestigious law school. Isn't that great? We have done our best. We used to be so naughty, but we are all mature now. Yeah, good time. By the way, we have a gift for you. Oh, really? That's great. You will surely love it. You make me so curious. This is the gift that we prepared for you. Welcome home. Thank you so much. Oh, my. 
<gasps> Are you okay? I'm so sorry. I'm so clumsy. The floor is too slippery, isn't it? That's right, they just cleaned the floor. Adam, your hair. Oh no. Thank you very much. I am also extremely sorry for... It's okay. Don't worry. Adam, what's wrong with your hair? Well, you know, having classes in a new language can be really stressful. That's too bad. You know, I also miss my family so much. When I go back to my flat after class and I'm alone, I feel so empty. Life abroad is difficult. Yeah, but moving to a new country for a new life is both difficult and exciting. I'm learning a lot of new things there. Like? Studying abroad makes me learn how to budget and think before buying. How to take care of myself. But, you know, everyone needs time to adapt. You're right! The first two months were a tough time for me. The pressure made all of my hair fall out, so I bought a wig. No problem. You're still great. Thanks very much. By the way, what is the gift you gave me? Well, it's kind of funny in this situation. Oh, what's that? Open it and you will understand. Oh, two bottles of shampoo. And they are premium quality shampoo that makes hair smooth, silky, and healthy. But why did you buy shampoo? Back then, you paid a lot of attention to your hair. So, me? Yeah, right. When we were in middle school, we went to the movies. You were two hours late because you had to wash, comb, and style your hair. God, it's been a long time since I brushed my hair. I have an idea. What's that? We should go celebrate Adam's new look. That's a great idea! We should go eat salmon. Why? Because salmon is very good for hair. Salmon is exactly what Adam needs. You're really funny. Let's go. Good morning, Laura. Morning, you wake up late. You should get up early and exercise. Someday in the future. Are you feeding Tara? Yes, she's so cute. And eat a lot. Your breakfast is on the table. Milk is in the fridge. Thanks, Mom. Did you brush your teeth? No, but it's okay. Brush your teeth first. Yes, Mom. Would you like to play tennis with me, Andrew? Okay, Dad. But I need to brush my teeth first. The soup in breakfast was delicious. I'll cook whenever you want. At Home Part 2 The movie has ended. What show are we going to watch next? Weekends will be boring if we keep watching TV like this. Do you have any suggestions? I don't know. Mom, what should we do? Let's cook together. Agree! I cook very badly. But I can help by going to the market and washing the vegetables. What are we going to cook? When was the last time we had a barbecue? Three months ago, Mom. Let's have a barbecue party. Awesome. awesome! My favorite photographs. 
What is that, Tom? It contains my favorite photographs. How interesting. Do you want to see it? Of course, yes. The first photo is a family photo. Everyone looks so happy. Yes. Is that you? Yes, I went climbing to see the sunrise with my friend. He took this photo for me. It's so beautiful. And where is this? This is a mountain village. The kids there were happy when I gave them candy and cake. Your life is interesting. I knew it from your photographs. Location Part 1 Do you take the bus or do you drive? My boyfriend will pick me up. He told me to send in my location. How to do that? First, open the Google Maps app. Okay. Search for your place, then touch and hold to drop a pin. Sure. At the bottom, tap the place's name or address. And next? Tap Share. Finally, choose the app where you want to share. It works! Thanks so much! Location Part 2 Excuse me, do you know any hotels nearby? It's down the street and on the right. Is it far? No, it is about one kilometer. How long does it take to get there? Fifteen minutes, I guess. Do you know what the name of that hotel is? It's Euphoria Hotel. Is that hotel near the bus station or the metro station? There is a bus stop right there. And about ten minutes walk for the metro station. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Color Part 1 What's your favorite color? Blue is my favorite color. My room is blue, 50% of my clothes are blue, my watch is blue, all my bed sheets are blue. You're such a crazy fan of blue. Why is it your favorite color? Blue is a very calming color. Gives me peace. I love to swim and also love water. And you? My favorite color is black. Oh, why? I don't know. Maybe black gives a feeling of satisfaction and completeness. Color, part two. Do you think colors affect your mood? Of course. How? For example, red makes me feel passionate and energetic. Sometimes it makes me feel hot, especially in the summer. How does green make you feel? I feel optimistic and refreshed. It's like health, new beginnings, and wealth. What do you think about purple, Andrew? Purple makes me feel mysterious, creative, and royal. Do you like light or dark colors better? I like both. All colors are beautiful. Can't imagine a world without color. No questions. Have you seen Anna anywhere? I just saw her in the restroom. Again? Every morning I see her go to the restroom. Yesterday when she smelled my food, she threw up. No questions. What? There is no question that she is pregnant. How do you know? She is sensitive to smells. She goes to the restroom every morning to throw up. I think she has a stomach disease. 
I don't think so. Just ask her and we'll know the answer. Short answer. Today is my birthday. What should we eat tonight? Anything. How about steak? Great. Do you want to eat at a restaurant? Yes. What about the Geneva restaurant? Agree. After eating, where should we go? It's up to you. Looks like you're so busy. You gave me short answers. I decided to meet my friends tonight. You just keep doing your work. Okay. Hmm. Where are you? I hang out with my friends. How about me? Stay home with your short answers. Short answers? What does she mean? Telephone call. Dialogue 1. A pink wallet? There is a business card in the wallet. Hello, Angel is speaking. Hi, my name is Victor. I picked up the pink wallet. I saw your business card. So I've contacted this number. My wallet is still in my bag. Oh, it disappears. Thanks for contacting me. Don't mention it. Where are you now? I'm at 25 Queen Street. I'm at 45 Queen Street. Please just give me a moment, I'll be right there. Sure. Is it she? So beautiful. I'm Victor, I called you. Hi, I'm Angel. Dialogue 2 This is Stamford Hospital. How can I help you? I'd like to make an appointment with, with Dr. Mark. Yes. May I have your name, please? Bella Gray. What time and date are convenient for you? Today is okay? I'm sorry. Dr. Mark's schedule is full today. This week, he is free on Thursday and Friday morning. Thursday morning is perfect. Sure, madam. I'll schedule an appointment for you at 10 a.m. this Thursday with Dr. Mark. Thank you. Goodbye. Have a nice day. You too. What's a grant? I heard my teacher talk about the grant. What is that, Mom? Grant? Yes! What's a grant? A grant is an amount of money given especially by an entity. An entity? Yes. It is often a public body, charitable foundation, or specialized grant-making institution. Where will that money go? It will be sent to a person or organization for a special purpose. A special purpose? Yes, it's linked to public benefit. Like a student grant, a research grant, local authority grant, or a government grant. I'm busy on Friday. Did you go on a date last night? Yes. He is not really my type. Why? We went to see a horror movie. He was scared and screamed, then ran away from the cinema. Poor guy. Hello? Hi, it's me. 
I wonder if you are free this Friday? I'm busy on Friday. Saturday? I'm also busy on Saturday. Next week? I'll go on a business trip. Next month? I have to go to the dentist's. And I have to go now. Okay. I'll call later. Is it him? Yes. Bless you. Pal, do you want to go shopping with me? Not today. I have an important exam tomorrow. I remember the wrong exam date, and I haven't studied anything yet. Calm down, you can do it. Bless you. Hey, Jenny, do you want to go shopping with me? Achoo! Bless you. I guess I can't go anywhere today. I just want to rest. Hope you get better soon. Sorry, Linda. I haven't said anything yet. I went shopping yesterday. Oh, I don't want to go shopping alone at all. Watching TV. A nine-year-old city girl has a new boyfriend. What are you reading? I'm reading the news in the newspaper. Hey, listen to this. The average American watches four hours of TV a day. You're kidding, right? No, it says so right here. In this newspaper. Hmm, I guess you're a typical American, Mia. You're always watching television. Come on. Are you saying I'm a couch potato? Yes. I believe that watching television is a waste of time. Don't say that. Why? Some shows are bad, but what about sports or the news you watch? I prefer the newspaper or the internet. Why? First, because they give you a lot more information and I can read them anytime. I like to watch the news and TV. You can do housework while listening to the news. Anyway, I still don't like watching TV. Meeting old friends. Look, it's Dan. I can't believe he's here. Hello, Dan. How are you? I'm very well. I haven't seen you since graduation. Yeah, right. Glad to see you here. Me too. Wow, you look fantastic. Thanks. So do you. So, what have you been up to? Well, I go to Faber College. Really? Do you enjoy it? I quite like it. And I also work very hard in my studies. Great. What's your major? It's called Computer Science. Cool. You've always excelled in math and science. Anyway, what have you been up to? I'm a sales representative for a publishing company. Really? I'm not kidding. That's fantastic. And how about you, Yolanda? I'm a pre-med student at State College. Wow, you can be a doctor. You always were good at science. Ugh, it was great to see you both. Let's keep in touch from now on. Email me sometime. Here's my address. Explaining a sport. Let's warm up and stretch now. We need to work on our balance and flexibility. I'm ready. Please answer some of my questions. Yes, teacher. What's the difference between Taekwondo and Karate? Hmm. T 
Taekwondo involves more kicking than karate. It puts a heavier emphasis on the kicks and uses hands as a backup. Anything else? Karate uses many more hand attacks. Legs often stay grounded. Taekwondo, on the other hand, uses a different leg stance because the body needs to be ready to perform fast kicks. Great, Kenji. Thank you! Alright, how are points calculated in tournaments, Kenji? In tournaments, karate generally gives points equally for both punches and kicks. Taekwondo gives higher points to kicks. Good job. Campus Please, excuse me, could you point me in the direction of Kimball Hall? You mean Campbell Hall, right? Oh, that's right! Do you see that brown building over there behind the fountain? Yes, I can see it! Follow me, I'm going there as well. Thank you so much! Are you here to take the English placement exam? I am indeed! So, how about you? In fact, I am one of the English teachers here. Really? Perhaps I'll be in your class. It's possible. What is your name? Honda Marie. But most people call me Marie. And how about you? My name is Nancy Anderson. So, where do you come from? Japan. How long have you been here, by the way? Only three weeks. Really? However, your English is excellent. Thanks! That's because my family used to come here every summer to visit my grandmother when I was a kid. So, I can speak pretty well English. Why do you need to sign up for an English class? Now, I want to go to college here, so I need to improve my skills. Especially writing, so that's why I signed up for this English class. I see. What do you want to major in? In international business! My father owns an import-export business, and he does a lot of business here in the United States. Oh, I see. I'd also like to take art classes, because I'm very interested in art and business. Wow, that's an interesting combination, but can't you study those things in Japan? Sure, but these days you have to be fluent in English to get ahead in business. It's better for my career if I go to college here. Okay, good luck with the placement exam. Thanks! You too, see you later! Being a place to live Hello, may I speak to Nancy, please? Nancy speaking. Hello, my name is Mari, and I'm calling to inquire about a room for rent that I saw in your ads. Okay, okay. Are you a student, by the way? I'm currently studying English, but I plan to start college full-time in March. I see. Where are you living now? I'm living in an apartment with my friends, but I don't like it there. Why? First and foremost, it is extremely noisy and filthy. That's bad. The other people in the house are slobs. I mean, they never lift a finger to clean up after themselves, which irritates me. So you need a cleaner house? Yes, that's right. By the way, what are you going to do? I'm an English professor at a community college. Wait a minute, didn't we just meet at the placement test? Oh, you're the Japanese girl. What was your name again? Mari, what a small world. Yeah, small world. Who else lives in the house? There are three people, in addition to myself. There's my husband, Andrew, and my cousin, Jeff, who is a musician and a part-time student. I got it. Are you okay with sharing a room with a man? 
Sure, as long as they're clean and don't make too much noise. Don't worry, they're both easy to live with. Okay, is the neighborhood secure? Sure, we've had no issues and you can walk to school from here. So, when can I come by and take a look at it? Can you come this evening around 7 p.m.? Yes, 7 p.m. is a good time. What is the location? It's 235 Hayworth Avenue. Do you know where that is? Yes, I know how to go there. I'm going to live like there's no tomorrow. What are you doing? I'm working. Come back home now. It's too late. It's 10 p.m. Well, I have no choice. A lot of work hasn't been done. But you still need to rest, sleep, and eat something. No. When I'm done, I'm going to live like there's no tomorrow. I will go out, eat, go to coffee, go to the movies with friends. Are you serious? Of course. I'm so exhausted from this work. Well, try your best. I'm leaving. Goodbye. Come home soon. You need to rest a bit. I'm going to see you today. Will you have lunch with me? I have an appointment with my client now. Oh no, so I have to have lunch alone. I'm so sorry, but I can't do anything. This client is so important. I know, just do your work. I understand. Sorry. No problem. I'm going to see you today. When? This evening? After I finish my work, about 5 p.m. Okay, luckily I'm free today. That's good. When you finish, please let me know. Okay, bye, see you honey. Hit it out of the park. You know what? What's that? Your presentation for the assignment got very good marks. Really? Yeah, you have the best grade for this assignment. Oh my God, I can't believe it. Are you kidding me? What? No, our teacher told us. Haven't you seen it? I haven't seen. In the group. I see it. Oh, that's amazing. I hit it out of the park. You're great. You know, I was so nervous before presenting because I just finished it the night before the presentation. I was afraid that I couldn't do well because I didn't have enough time. But you did a great job. I'm so proud of myself. Good job. Interesting he is. You look so happy. How was the date? Amazing! This was the first time I met him, but I think I fell in love with him. What? Are you serious? Of course! Love at first sight is real. I remember you saying that you don't believe in it. I was wrong. What's he like? He is handsome, nice, gentle, and funny. Well, it seems like he is perfect in your eyes. Yeah, how interesting he is. What did you do with him? We talked at the cafe, walked in the park, and went to see a movie together. That's great. We have another date next week. I'm so excited. He is not coming to the party.
We will wait for Jack. Jack hasn't come, right? Right, I didn't see him. I've invited him, although he said that he wasn't sure to come or not. Well, he is not coming to the party. Really? How do you know that? He has called me. What a pity! Right, we haven't seen him for a while. No, he's so busy, he doesn't even have time for himself. It's so hard to talk to him these days. Poor him, he works so hard. Sometimes he skips his breakfasts. We should encourage him. Don't leave him alone. I know. I sometimes video chat with him and share some things. Don't worry much. Please submit your report on time. Everyone, have you remembered the deadline for our report? For Mr. David, right? Exactly. I hope you finish them well. Is the deadline on Sunday? Right. Remember that day. Last semester, some of the students in our class submitted the reports late. Teacher was really annoyed with that. We forgot the deadline. Please submit your report on time. I will write a note and stick it at our door. That's a great idea. How can we submit it? Online? Uh, no. You should give them to me and I'll give them to Mr. David later. I got it. Okay. This is the next best thing. Did you buy that dress? Which one? That one yesterday we saw at the mall, the blue one. Ah. Well, actually, I haven't. Why? You said that you came back home to get money and buy it. You really liked it, right? Right, I loved it. But when I came back, someone else had bought it. Oh God, what a pity. Yeah, but I bought another one. This is the next best thing. Do you want to see it? Sure. Here it is. It's quite similar to that one. Right. They are different in the neck. One is round and the other is not. But it's still pretty. I think it looks good on you. Thanks. I will wear it to Jenny's wedding. Good idea. Sink or swim? I have joined the stock market. Really? Wow, you're so brave. Well, I don't know. I see a lot of people around me playing it and I want to try it. Is it good? I'm afraid that it's not good, actually. Why? The stock that I am holding is falling in price continuously. I don't know what to do. Oh, God. I don't have any experience in this field, so I can't give you any advice. I know. In this situation, you either sink or swim. I'm so nervous. I don't want to make you worry, but some of my friends lost all of their money in stocks. I didn't start with much money, but this is all I have now. That's not much difference. We must watch this movie together. Do you know Wednesday? A day of the week! No, I mean the film. The film? Right. Haven't you heard of it? Recently, it is so popular on Netflix. Ah, oh, right! I remember. I heard some of my co-workers talking about it. I haven't watched it. Everyone says that it's so good. 
Me either. We must watch this movie together. Okay, if you want. I'm not the picky one. Great. When do you have time? I think the best time to watch a movie is evening. Shall we watch it this evening? That's fine. I'm free. Okay. I will buy some popcorn and we will watch it together. What a shame. How was your test? Please don't remind me about it anymore. What happened? I don't want to hear about it. What a shame. Tell me, what's wrong? How stupid I am. I did the test quite fast, and at the end of the test, I asked one of my friends to check my answers. He had different answers from me. And then, I changed my answers as he said. <gasps> really? And my answers were correct, but I changed them. I can't believe I didn't trust myself. Oh, that is a lesson for you. Next time, trust yourself first. You know how to find the answer. Why did you believe in others instead of believing in yourself? Right, I know. What situations did Alice encounter while working as a hotel receptionist? Watch the video below to find out. Good morning. Welcome to Epiphany Hotel. Hi. I'd like to make a reservation, please. What date are you looking for? Today, please. How long will you be staying? I'll be staying for three nights. Sure. How many people is the reservation for? Just for me. Would you prefer to have a room with a view of the ocean? Yes, I would love to have an ocean view. Yes, sir. Would you like breakfast? Yes, please. What's the rate for the room? It's $150 per night, excluding VAT. That's okay. May I know your name? I'm Bob. May I see your identification, please, sir? Of course. Just a second. Here you are. Thanks. Do you have a credit card? Is MasterCard okay? Yes, of course. Great. Could you just fill out this registration form? Sure. Your room number is 501. Ocean View and Breakfast is included. Is that agreeable to you, sir? Yes, that sounds like what I want. And I'd like a wake-up call at 4 a.m. on the last day here, if possible. You know, for my flight. Yes, sir. Sure. I'll make a note of that. Thank you. Here's your key card. If you need anything at all, please dial zero. Thanks. Epiphany Hotel, how can I help you? Hello! I'm interested in booking a room for three people on an upcoming vacation. Can I have the exact date, please? The 14th to the 18th of July. Oh, I'm afraid we're fully booked for the triple room for those dates. Oh, really? Yes. Would you like a double room and a single room? No. The three of us want to stay together, not separate into two rooms. We have the family room, which is perfect for three people. But the room rate will be a bit higher. Oh, let's see. How much is a family room? The price per night is $258. That's quite high. Hmm. But I think we'll take it. Fantastic. What name will the reservation be listed under? Violet, please. When do you need the room? I plan to be there in July from the 14th to the 18th. 
Is there a phone number where you can be contacted? My phone number is 222-9876. Thanks. Now I'll need your credit card information to reserve the room for you. Sure. What type of card is it? Visa. The number is 1234567789. What is the name of the card holder? Violet A. Hackenberg. Great, Ms. Violet. Your reservation is confirmed. Check in time is 2 o'clock. If you have any other questions, please do not hesitate to call us. Thank you. Thank you so much. We look forward to seeing you. Good afternoon, sir. Welcome to Epiphany Hotel. How can I help you? I'd like to check in, please. Certainly, sir. I have a reservation for a king room for three nights. It's under Tyler. Yes, it'll just be one moment. Okay. Mr. Tyler, I can't seem to find a record of your booking. Did you book the room directly through us? Or did you use a hotel reservation service or a travel agent? I booked it directly. I have already also paid a deposit on the first night. I have a booking confirmation email if that helps. Okay. Can I see it, please? I found a record of your booking. Oh, maybe there was a problem with the typing. I'm so sorry, sir. Thank you for understanding. It's fine. Thank you. Could I have some form of ID? Sure. Here's my driver's license. Can you please sign your name in the registration book? Yes, sure. Your room is on the 10th floor. You have a great view. Yes, of course. What time is breakfast served in the morning? Breakfast is served from 7 to 1030. Our restaurant is on the fourth floor. Thank you. I appreciate your help. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your stay. Good morning. What can I do for you? Yes. Could you send someone up for my laundry? I'm Hannah in room 1005. Sure. Do you know when I'll have my laundry back? Usually it takes two days. Oh. But you can use an express service if you'd like. What is the price difference? The express service costs 15% more. But it only takes seven hours. Okay, I'll use express service then. Great. I'll send the valet in a moment. Great, thank you. Would you like to order more room service? Yes, I'd like the steak, three servings. How would you like your steak cooked? Medium rare, medium, and well done, please. Would you like mashed potatoes and vegetables or salad and fries? Salad and fries, thank you. Which sauce would you like? I'll have mushroom sauce. Okay. Is there anything else you'd like? I'd like to have my room clean now, if possible. Certainly. I'll send someone up there right away. Thanks. My pleasure, ma'am. I can't believe it. How can I help you, sir? I requested a wake-up call at 4 a.m., but the front desk didn't call me. It's 10 a.m. now. I want to make a complaint to the manager. We're sorry you missed your flight. 
I missed my flight. I want to get compensation. Yes, you asked the receptionist to wake you up at 4 a.m., but you didn't return to the hotel until 4.30 a.m. The staff reminded you of the flight, but by that time you were too drunk, so we had to help you up to your room. And then I also tried to call your room, but no one picked up, sir. Oh, I remember. I went to a wine party last night. Sorry to bother you. No problem, sir. I want to check out. Here's my room key. Sure, sir. What is the quickest way to get to the airport? We have a free airport shuttle service. Great. I have to be at the airport around 11.30 for the flight. Will it get me to the airport on time? Yes, it should. The next shuttle leaves in 10 minutes and it takes approximately 25 minutes to get to the airport. Fantastic. I'm here to check out. I'm Tyler from room 1005. Great, sir. How was your stay? Most of my time here was pleasant. Could you wait a minute? I'll call the room attendant to check the room. Okay. Here is your total bill, sir. The bill is higher than what I expected. There are some extra room charges on your bill. What are they? The room attendant checked, and she said that you drank three Cokes and two bottles of water. And there was an outbound call that made the price so high. I see. May I know if you're paying in cash or by credit card? Do you accept Visa cards? Yes, we do. Great. Here you are, sir. Thank you. Thank you again for staying at Epiphany Hotel. Lana and Henry completed one cooking course with their mom. They decided to have a competition to find out who is the best. Let's watch the video and learn about quantifiers. Our cooking course is finished. How do you feel? It was an interesting course. I learned many new recipes. That's right. I'm so proud of myself. I thought I couldn't cook any dishes. I can't agree with you more. It is a victory to learn every single lesson. By the way, you are a good teacher, Mom. So did you have any difficulties during the cooking course? Well... I used to make a lot of messes, but now I always make sure that I have a big bowl for food scraps when cutting fresh ingredients. Great. And you? The most challenging aspect of cooking was choosing the spices and herbs for each dish because none of them were similar. But thanks to your course, I'm better at it. You guys tried your best. However, there are still some things you need to learn and practice more. Do you want to take part in one more course with me? That's a great idea, but I think my cooking skills are good enough. I will practice weekly by cooking dinner for us. I don't need another course, Mom. Me too. Learning to cook is one of the most difficult things in the world. I don't want to learn anything else. Okay, well, you guys gave your best shot after all. Congratulations! But I think my skills are better than hers. No way! Mine are better than yours. That's ridiculous. I am a hundred times better than you. Do you want to compete with me? Sure. I'm going to be the winner anyway. How do you want to compete with me? Let's cook our best dishes and see who will be the master chef. Okay, mom, we want to have a cooking competition. Can you be the judge? Please, mom. Well, why not? That's a great idea. 
We should each have one commas chef. That's great. Who will you choose, Kate? Mine is Thomas. Okay, you can choose whomever you want, but there are some rules for the competition. Of course, every competition needs its own rules. Whatever. What are they? You need to go buy all ingredients by yourself. No problem. I know a lot of stores. So do I. But some spices are similar. Be careful. And I will give you a limited amount of money. Just a little money. Yeah, it makes everything harder. Okay, no problem. I know what I should buy. Most of it is cheap. You have never gone to the market by yourself. I'm confident that I can defeat you. Let's see. The loser needs to have one more cooking course. Okay? Okay. It won't be me, so it's fine. I made a shopping list for us. Let me see. There are a lot of things. Do you have enough money? I think yes. Most of them are cheap, so no worries. You need a sprig of rosemary. Yep, that way. Why did you choose beef steak? It is expensive and hard to cook well. I love beef, you know, and also it required less ingredients. Okay, do you think that you're going to win? Of course, I'm super confident. Little did Henry know he can't cook perfectly without help. He has Thomas. Is he good at cooking? I don't know, but nothing can defeat me this time. How confident you are! Absolutely. Look what I have. What is that? Henry's recipe and shopping list. Oh my! How did you get that? I saw it on the dining table. It was a bit careless of him. He can't do anything without it. Correct. Let's go. You do need some butter. You need some garlic. Yeah, a couple of the bulbs. Okay. Do you think this is a little too much? No, we need all of it. Oh my God! Why is there only a little money left? What happened? I don't know. I thought Mom gave us lots of cash. You can pay by credit card. I didn't bring it with me. What can we do now? We may be late if we go back home to get more money. Yeah, we don't have enough time. Leave some unnecessary things. Oh my! I can't. We don't have time. Choose the main ingredients. Okay. I can't find our shopping list. What? I'm not sure. I'm sure I put it on the dining table, but it's gone. What can we do now? I don't know. I can't do anything without it. We're going to lose. It's okay. I will use my memories. I hope everything will be fine. Sure. Yeah, I can remember a few main ingredients and several spices. That is the only option now. Let's go. We don't have much time.
Though we lost the recipe, I think we can win this time. Don't underestimate your opponent. I'm not. So why are you so confident? Look what I have. Why do you have lots of money? It's from Lana. I took some of hers. It's a large amount of money. They won't have enough money to buy ingredients. That's right. Bravo! Quickly, there's a little time left. Okay, we should buy some vegetables first. This way. Did we buy tomatoes, Thomas? I don't think so. How about chilies? I think, yes, they are over there, but we just have a few. It's okay. Wait a couple minutes. What's up? I think we made some mistakes. What? We need cabbage for salad, not cauliflower. Oh my, what should we do now? There's no option. We have to use whatever we have. Okay, could you give me some carrots? Here you are. We will cook beefsteak with a minimalist recipe. Yeah, we just have a little garlic and a little butter. Luckily, we still have enough money to buy beef. Yeah, it is the most expensive thing. Okay, we will start by marinating the steak. Okay, I will wash all ingredients first. Thanks. Put some rosemary here. Sure, I'm under a ton of stress. Time's up. Finished. Me too, finished. I will try Lana's dishes first, then Henry's. Okay. What do you think? It's hard to choose which one is better. I think mine is better. Do you know how hard it is to cook a beef steak well? It's your choice. Mine is better, obviously. Look, it is also presented well. No, mom will choose mine. No way. Calm down. Lana's dish is a bit salty. And Henry's dish isn't cooked well. I think you have several mistakes in the recipe. Neither of you is good enough to be a winner. Oh my. Both of you need to take part in one more cooking course. No, Mom. No, please. Cooking is so hard. All of your dishes are not good enough. And you know the rules, right? Yeah. We're going to start the new course this weekend. Okay, Mom. Can I get a discount? Excuse me, how much does this coat cost? This coat is $150, madam. Really? That's really expensive. Can I get a discount? I'm afraid not, madam. We don't have a discount for this coat, but you can take a look at the t-shirts. Some of them have a discount up to 50%. Are you interested? Sounds good, but I need a coat. Would you consider a different coat? Hmm, do you have any cheap trench coats that I can try on? Yes, we have cheaper trench coats right over there. Please have a look at them. This blue one looks good, I'll try it on. I want to change my reservation.
Good evening! This is Adam from Shooting Star Restaurant. How can I help you? Hello? My name is Mary. I already booked a table at your restaurant at 7 p.m. tonight. May I ask whether your full name is Mary Johnson? Yes, it is. Yes, Ms. Mary Johnson. You did book a table at our restaurant. But I want to change my reservation. What time do you want to change it to? Is it possible to come at 8? I'm sorry, but our restaurant may be very busy tonight. I'm afraid we can only wait for you until 7.30. I see. All right, I will try my best to come on time. Thank you for your understanding, Miss Johnson. I'm looking for a cheap place. What kind of house or apartment are you looking for? Well, I prefer living in an apartment, and I'm looking for a cheap place. Our cheapest apartment on King Street is $1,000 a month. What do you think? Can you describe that apartment? It has a living room, a kitchen, a bathroom, and a big bedroom. Sounds good. How about the neighborhood? Although this is quite cheap, it's far away from the city center. However, there's a convenience store on the first floor of this apartment building. There's also a park next to it. Sounds perfect to me because I hardly visit the center city. Do you want to have a look at it now? Yeah, sure. Please take me there. Maybe next time. Finally, it's lunchtime. Want to eat out, guys? Sure, let's go. Hey, Maria, why don't you join us? Sorry, I brought my lunch today. Maybe next time. Oh, really? What do you have for today? Actually, it's just a simple lunch. I have some salad, rice, a small loaf of bread, and roasted chicken. Yummy! Enjoy your lunch. Hope to eat with you next time. All right, see you guys after break. Let me check. Do you have time, Sarah? Yes? I was told I have some mistakes on my report. But I'm not sure what they are. Can you help me? Oh, sure. Let me check. Hmm, I think you have to be careful with the typos. And there are also some grammatical errors as well. Oh, really? I think it's because I forgot to double check before submitting. Yeah, it could be the problem. Your ideas for this report are perfect. However, make sure to present them more clearly next time. All right, got it. Let me fix everything now. Good luck. Please write it down. Hey Josh, do you know any good science books? What for? Nothing much, but I want to learn more about science. I love reading fiction or sci-fi novels, so I want to try new genres. Ah, I see. I have a book called Basics of Chemistry. If you are interested, please write it down and go to the bookstore to find it. All right, any other books? Hmm, I think it's a better idea if you ask our science teacher. He may have a lot of books for you to borrow. But I'm afraid that his books are too difficult for me to understand. You're right. Do you like physics? Yes, that's one of my favorite subjects. 
Great! I have a lot of physics books and I can lend you some. Thanks a lot. Hold it right there. Hey Rachel, how's it going? Don't move, hold it right there. All right, all right, but what's wrong? I'm cleaning the floor right now. Please stand right there for a few minutes. Okay. So now, can I step in? Okay, you can go inside now. Have you just cleaned the whole house? Yeah, I have free time today, so I want to do some cleanup. How do you feel now? Well, it's tiring but satisfying. I love a clean and bright house. Me too. Thank you for cleaning it. It's okay. Cleaning is also my hobby. Something's not right. Are you ready, Tom? Yes, Jessica, let's go. Wait, something's not right. What happened? Have you locked the door? OMG, not yet. Gosh, let's go back home and lock it. Luckily, we still have 10 minutes before the next bus comes. Ooh, here's the key. Thanks, Jessica. But how did you know? After locking the door, you always give the key to me, but today you didn't. I see. How careful you are. Everyone knows that. Linda, do you know that Lisa and Henry are dating? I think everyone knows that. What? Really? So I am the last person to know? I think so. Anyway, we should not gossip in the hallway, you know. Whoops. Sorry, I was a bit loud. Yeah, be careful with your words or we will be in trouble. But how do you know about their love story? Well, I'm in the same chemistry class as Lisa. She never listens to the lecture. Instead, she texts her boyfriend, Henry, all the time. Really? The teacher doesn't know about that? Actually, nobody cares because Lisa is always using her phone in class. Wow, they must have a lot to talk about. He is very annoying. Where were you today, Sonny? I was hiding from Leo. He's very annoying. What has he done to you? He said that he had a crush on me, but I don't like him. Oh, let me guess. So he didn't give up and he kept talking to you, right? That's exactly what happened to me yesterday. He did not leave me alone all day. That's why today I need to make sure he doesn't see me. <laughs> you guys are so funny. If he ever asks you where I am, do not tell him, okay? Okay, sure, bestie. <gasps> Gosh, Leo's coming this way. I have to go, bye. All right, all right, see you then. Driving license. Dialogue one. Hi, how may I help you? I would like to apply for my driving permit. Are you 16 years old? Yes, I am. Can I see your ID card? 
Sorry, I left it in the car. I'll need to see your ID as well as $27 for your permit. Please wait a moment, I'll go grab my ID. Okay. Here's my ID card and the $27. Thanks. Fill out this form now. Okay. Like this? Yes. Now turn the application in at window B. Dialog 2. Hello, I am number G25. What can I do for you? Can I apply for a permit right now? Okay. Can I see your ID card? Yes. Here is my ID card. Thank you. Now you have to pay $27. Here you are. Okay. Now, I'll need you to complete this form. But I use your pen. I've got a pen for you. Thank you for your assistance. Then you must turn it in at window B. Dialogue 3. I need to get a driver's license. Do you have your identification with you? <gasps> my ID might be in my car. So I'll need your ID and $27. I'll go grab it right away. Please, quickly. It's right here. Please complete this form. I'm sorry, I didn't bring a pen. You can use the pen on the table. Thank you kindly. Now, at window B, submit your application. Taking the written test. Dialogue 1. Have you completed the written exam yet? No, I haven't. <sighs> You should prepare before taking the test. Well, I'm still studying. Try your best. Thanks. Do you know how much it costs? Since you already paid for your permit, you don't have to pay again. Okay. Do you know if the examination covers the entire book? No, the test is very simple. Did you pass the first test? Yes. Well, I hope I did well on it. Dialogue 2 Did you complete the written exam? No. Make sure you study hard. I am. I study every night. I'm confident you're prepared. How much does the test cost? It was completely free. Did it cover a lot of material? No, just the stuff in the manual. Did you pass the test the first time? That day, I was quite subjective, so I failed. Wish me luck. Dialogue 3. Have you previously taken the written examination? No, not yet. You should study before you take it. Yeah, I know. How much does it cost to take it? Free, because you previously applied for and paid for your permit. Is the test going to cover everything in the manual? It does not include everything. Did you pass the test the first time you took it? No, I did not pass. I'm hoping I don't flunk the test. Yeah, I believe you will pass. Thanks!
Learning how to drive one. Dialogue one. So, you know how to drive, don't you? Yeah, I know how to drive. Can you teach me? Have you gotten your learner's permit yet? Yes, I already have it. Do you have any driving experience? Not yet. I only drove once. Do you know the function of all the buttons in the car? Yeah, I do. When do you want to learn how to drive? Whenever you are free. How about tomorrow? Great. Dialogue 2. Do you have a driver's license? I got my driver's license three years ago. Would you be willing to teach me how to drive? Do you have your learner's permit? I do, in fact, hold a learner's permit. Have you ever driven a car before? I've only driven once. You've already gotten familiar with all of the controls of the car, right? Yes. Let me know when you want me to teach you. When you have some free time, we can do it. I won't be busy tomorrow. Dialogue 3. Do you know how to drive? Of course. Why do you ask like that? I'm going to need you to teach me how to drive. Do you have your learner's permit? Yeah, I've got it. Have you ever gotten behind the wheel of a car? I've only driven a car once before. Do you know all of the controls in the car? Yes. When do you want me to begin teaching you? When are you going to have free time? Please contact me by phone tomorrow and we'll get started. Learning how to drive. Two. Dialogue one. Do you want to put your driving skills to the test right now? Yes, thanks. Are you wearing your seatbelt? I've fastened my seatbelt. What should I do now? Start the engine. Should we turn left? Yeah, turn left. How far would you like me to go? Just go. I'll let you know when to stop. Okay. Now we'll turn around. Why don't you try parking? Okay, I'll park in that empty spot. Dialogue 2. Now we will practice driving. All right, let's go. Did you fasten your seatbelt? I've got my seatbelt on. What comes next? You must start the automobile right now. What exactly do you want me to do? Turn left. How far will we go? I'll tell you when to stop. Tell me first if you want me to stop. Okay, try parking here. Okay, tomorrow we will practice driving again. Dialogue 3. Should we drive out now? Sure, let's get started. Fasten your seatbelt. Okay, so what now? You can start the automobile by inserting the key into the ignition. Can I go straight now? No, turn left onto the highway. Tell me how far you want me to go. 
Continue until I tell you to stop. Okay, but please notify me ahead of time. That's all there is to it for today. So park your car right there. That was fantastic. Thank you for helping me to drive. Taste of your own medicine. I thought you had a date with your boyfriend today. Yeah, I do. Why are you still here? It's late now. Yeah, I know, but he is always late. So this time, I'm going to give him a taste of his own medicine. So what time will you leave? I don't know, maybe when he calls, I will leave. He's calling. Where are you now, honey? I'm here, but I can't find you. It's 15 minutes late. Yeah, I know. I'm giving you a taste of your own medicine. You're always late. Am I? So sorry, honey. I won't be late in the future. What time will you come? I'm not sure. See ya. I'm dead tired. Would you like to go shopping with me? I'd love to go, but I'm dead tired. What a pity. Today there are so many sold off items. Yeah, I just went home 20 minutes ago after a long, hard working day. I just want to take a rest. Do you want to buy anything? I can send you some pictures if they have good prices. I think I prefer trying them on. Ah, I understand. Christmas is coming. Can you buy some ingredients, please? I want to make some ginger cookies by myself. Okay, I will look for them. Thank you. Enjoy. Yeah, bye. What page are we on? Helen, what are you doing? I'm reading a story for Anna. It is her bedtime. Ah, I see. But I need you for a minute. What do you need from me? I think I lost one of my shirts. I was looking for them for a while, but I can't find them. Which one? The black one with two white lines in the front of it. I think I bought it last month. I don't think I've seen them recently, but you should try to find it in the closet. I will help you after Anna goes to sleep. Okay, thanks, babe. What page are we on? The princess has to marry a frog. Okay, let's continue. I ran into a big problem. Why do you look so serious? What happened? I ran into a big problem. What is the problem? You can tell me in case I can help you with it. I forgot my assignment at home. What? Today is the deadline. Yeah, I know. I think I put it in my backpack, but I don't see it here now. Oh my, what should we do now? I think I will go home and get it. What? You will be late. The next class starts in 15 minutes. I know. I can ask Mr. Jame for being off this period. I think he will understand. Let's ask him first. Then we will know what we should do. Okay. He could play football well. Do you know Tim? Tim, is he the new student in our school? Yeah, he is. I heard that he is good at sports. Which sports does he play? 
He plays basketball. He used to be the best basketballer in his primary school. Wow. What about football? Can he play football? He could play football well, but he likes basketball more, so he rarely plays football anymore. What a pity. My team is looking for one more player. Can I join? Are you sure? How about the dancing club? I can do both. No worries. Okay, I will give you a form to register. Please accept my apologies. Excuse me, sir. May I come in, please? Andrew, you are late again. How many times have you been late this month? I think four times. I'm so sorry. Please accept my apologies. Can I know the reason why you are always late? You are not that kind of person. My family just moved to a new house, which is far from here. I'm trying to figure out how long the bus ride is. Promise I will be on time next week. Okay. I hope this is the last time you come late. If not, I think I need to give you a penalty. Thanks for understanding. Seize the day. There is a debate competition next month. Do you want to take part in it? That sounds cool. It may be very difficult. You're good at it. No worries. Should I try? Yeah, of course. This is your time. Let's seize the day. Where can I get more details about it? At the info board. I saw some posters there this morning. Okay, thanks. Is this for individuals or teams? Both of them. I think the team is better. I'm a bit unconfident. Do you want to team up? Me? Can I? Of course you can. We're going to be the best team ever. You should have listened to the teacher. What are you doing? Completing the geography report. Are you done with it? Which geography report? I have no idea what you're talking about. What? You should have listened to the teacher. She reminded us about this report last week. The deadline is tomorrow. Oh my god. Can I have a look at it please? Here you are. It is a bit difficult. I think you should start doing it right now. If not, you will not be able to finish it. I hope I have enough time. Lucky that I met you today. If you need any help, let me know. I did a lot of research. I can help you with it. Thanks so much. You should walk to work. Where is your new house? It is at the corner of this street. I chose that apartment because it is so close to our office. Yeah, it is really close. Just around one kilometer. You should walk to work. No, I don't like walking. I always ride a bike to work. That's perfect. I always want to ride to work, but my house is too far. How far is your house from here? Around 30 minutes driving. It may take almost one hour to be here if there are traffic jams. How do you go to work now? I drive my own car. Sometimes I ride the subway. She may have heard everything. Hannah looks like she knows everything about the surprise party. 
No, she just looks normal. You're just stressed out. She may have heard everything. I don't think so. I'm sure she wasn't there at that time. Okay. Have you prepared the cake and decorations? Of course. Everything is ready for it. What about the birthday presents? I got her the guitar she has been talking about. That's perfect. She will be so happy for sure. I hope everything goes as planned. Yeah, everything will be fine. Don't be too stressed out. Ken was exhausted from work, so he booked a tour to Europe. During this trip, many unexpected things happened to him. In particular, Ken met Mia. Let's follow Ken's story and learn more about travel idioms. Hi, sir. I lost my wallet. I want to report it. Okay. Please help file the report first. Then we will help you look for it. Hi, sir. I found a wallet. I want to file a report. <gasps> oh, it's you. We meet again. Hey, what a coincidence. But didn't you read my message? What message? Oh, well, so what happened? Would you like to grab coffee? I would like to hear what happened with you if you are willing to talk. Of course, no problem. Bartender, can I have a drink, please? Hello, sir. What can I get you? I'd like a beer, please. I heard that it is the most famous drink here, right? I would like to try it. Certainly, sir. I'll get that straight away. Excuse me. Can I sit next to you? Hi. Yes. It is available. Oh, you are American. Are you here alone? Yeah, I'm from Seattle. I am on vacation to recharge my energy. You know, anyone visiting Germany need to try this drink. What is this? This cocktail is called Swimming Pool. It's so eye-catching. Not only that, but it's very delicious. A must try, if you will. Oh, I thought you guys are famous for beer only. In that case, give me the honor. Bartender, can you get a swimming pool for this gentleman here? Oh, that's very kind of you. By the way, why do you travel alone? Well, I'm a writer. You know, a novelist. Wow, you don't look like a writer. Yeah, people tell me that all the time. Yeah? After graduating, I started my career as a writer right away. Well, I have worked hard and I love my job. But recently, I lost my spark. I cannot create new ideas. Then I saw a tour abroad, and it was cheaper than I expected. So I decided to hit the road right away. I want to get away from it all for at least a few days. I also like traveling because travel broadens the mind. How many countries have you visited on this trip? Germany is the first country. I only have two days here. Then, where are you going to visit? Holland, Belgium, and France. That's great. Yeah, the plan is so great. But their tour management is so bad. They don't even know my name. They just count the number of tourists every time. Today I went sightseeing in Berlin. 
and medieval Rothenburg. Then I ended up feeling so exhausted that I called it a day and went back to the hotel. But you know, I can't even sleep because of the terrible hotel. That sucks. The views of Germany are breathtaking if you have time to explore them. Well, I don't expect much from the cheap tours. Anyway, I'm on my own time now as long as I come back by 8 a.m. Everyone, today we continue discovering the city. One, two, three. Okay, we have enough members. Let's go. Where am I? What time is it? Oh my god, it's 10. I need to return to the hotel now. Excuse me. How may I help you? I'm a member of the Golden Group. I'm in room 501. I cannot find anyone on my team or my team leader. Do you know where they have gone? I am so sorry. They left 45 minutes ago and I have no idea where they are. Ah, I see. Thanks anyway. Oh my, I feel like my head's about to explode. I need a hangover cure. Hello, I think I got lost. I came to the hotel a bit late and everyone left. I don't know how to contact the team leader. Hi, I'm so sorry about that. Though it is your fault. I need to double check and I will get back to you with the details later. Keep safe. Okay. So I guess I have to break the journey here. I should find another hotel to take a rest. Oh my gosh, where's my wallet? Hi, it's you. We meet again. Hey. What a coincidence. So, you can live it up in my house until the tour comes back. Is that convenient for you? Yes, I live alone. Oh my God, is this your house? Yes. Come in. That room on the second floor to the left will be your room for a few days. Make yourself at home. Wow! Unbelievable! Thank you for letting me stay here. Hey, we should go shopping. Let's go, quickly! I love this place because it's off the beaten track. Do you come here often? The view is so amazing. I used to, but now I rarely come here because you know, work. Have you been to America? Yes, a few times, but I have never visited Seattle. It is also beautiful. You'll love it. Is it your hometown? Yeah, I was born and grew up in a small town on the outskirts of Seattle. I work at BNU News there. Oh, okay. I will visit it one day. Great. I'd be happy to be your tour guide. So give me your phone number. I will call you when I am there. Sure, let's keep in touch. I think I'm falling in love with Mia. I don't know. Hi, Ken. 
Hi, this is Ken. This is the staff of Golden Group. I'm so sorry for your bad experience. Our team will pick you up tomorrow and we will return to America within 24 hours. Tomorrow! Oh, great. And we will refund the entire fee. We apologize. Mia, I'm going to return to America tomorrow. Hmm. I'm quite busy tomorrow. But okay, I can go with you at noon. I should buy a gift to thank her for everything. I also want to confess my feelings to her. And I don't have much time. I want to buy some goodbye gifts for Ken. What should I buy? It is hard to decide because I don't know him well. What about clothes? That's a great idea. Let's look around. Okay. Hey, what do you think? It is too flashy. How about this one? I don't know. But I believe in your taste. Take it. It's ridiculous. How can I fall in love with a girl who I just met a few days ago? How silly I am. I just want to go a mile a minute to get back home. I had better delete all these pictures and block her number. I keep them for nothing. Coming! Who is that? I haven't ordered anything today. Oh my! Mia! Why did you leave without saying a word? Do you know how difficult it was to find you? How are you? Good morning, Uncle Andrew. How are you? Hi, I'm great. Long time no see. How are you? Very well, thanks. Please, come in. I have a gift for you. Thank you. Where is your father? My father is in the garden. What about your mother? My mother is at the supermarket. I have to say hello to your father. Hi, my brother. Hey, look who it is. How are you? Pretty fair. How are you? Can't complain? I like your garden. This doesn't work. What are you doing? I'm doing my homework. Oh no! What's up? My laptop screen is frozen. What should I do? Press Control Shift Escape keys together. Okay. This doesn't work. The screen is still frozen. Press Alt and F4. Okay. Does this work? No, this doesn't work. So try restarting your laptop. Is it okay? I don't think so. Now the screen is black. Let's call to ask for help. Call who? Where you buy the laptop. The computer maintenance department. Thanks for your help. Hi, Max. Are you lost? Hello, 
Hello, I am Rose. Who's calling? Hi, I am Jack. I saw this phone number on the cat's collar. It's Max. He is my cat. I think he's lost. Yes, I'm looking for him. We're in Central Park. Me too. I stand by the fountain. I will be there right away. Please wait for me for a moment. Sure. Thank you. Max, you're here. Excuse me. Are you Jack? Yes, it's me. Thanks for your help, Jack. Happy to help. This is very difficult. Where are you from? I come from Thailand. You speak English very well. Thank you. Where did you learn English? I learned it in college. Do you think learning English is difficult? When I started, this was very difficult. But when I got used to it, it got easier. You're right. Do you want to learn a new language? Yes, I want to, but now I can't. Why? This is very difficult for me now. My work is so busy. I don't have time. That looks great. What kind of hairstyle do you want? I want a hairstyle that suits my face. Here are the hairstyles you can refer to. Thank you. Wow, beautiful! I want this style. Good choice. That looks great. Yes, that looks great on you. Thank you. Hello, Bella. Hi. Wow, look at you. New hair, right? Yes. How does it look? Great. That looks great. You look like a pop star. Thank you. Where is that hair salon? It's behind this coffee shop. You're very smart. Mom, I got 100 points in math. You're very smart, Tom. I'm proud of you. Where is Dad? He goes golfing. I want to let him know. I think he'll be home in 30 minutes. I will watch TV and wait for him. Today, we will meet a girl who can speak eight languages. That's Victoria. Hello, everyone. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Victoria. What languages can you speak? French, Spanish, Korean, Chinese, Thai, German, Vietnamese, and Russian. Amazing. You're very smart. She's so smart. She's good at languages. It's too expensive. Hello, ma'am. May I help you? Can I see that dress on the top shelf, please? Sure. Here it is. How much is it? Ninety dollars. Hmm. It's too expensive. How about this one? It's for sale. Only fifty dollars. I don't like it. How about this? 
It's very similar to the one you like. That's nice. But I like this one. Can you make it lower? $80? It's still expensive. How about $70? Okay, $70. I can't do more reduction. Thank you. That smells bad. Dialogue 1 Mom, I'm hungry. Wait a minute. I'll make breakfast for you. So, I drink milk first. Ew, value! That smells bad. What smells bad? Milk. It tastes sour. When is the expiration date? Two days ago. It is expired. Dialogue 2 Have you had lunch yet? No, I haven't. I will make pizza. Would you like to eat? Yes, please. I love pizza. Thank you. That smells bad. What smells bad? Your socks. Don't take off your socks next to me. <laughs> I'm sorry. They're the same. Dialogue 1 I bought this dress yesterday. It's beautiful. I like it. It's not only cheap, but also pretty. Hi, Victor. Amanda. How do you do? Hello, Jamie. How are you? Look at your dress! What a coincidence. Your dress and mine. They're, They're the, the same. same. Dialogue 2 I took selfies. Would you like to see my photos? Sure. You see? This. And this. Okay. Which photo is better? I want to post it on Instagram. They're the same. No, they aren't the same. This photo is brighter. Really? I'm married. Dialogue 1 Are you married? I'm married. When did you marry? Last winter. Where did you hold your wedding? In a castle in France. It's so romantic. How about you? Are you married? I'm not married, but I have a boyfriend. Dialogue 2 I heard you got married. Yes, I'm married. Congratulations. Thank you. How is married life? I love my married life. We get along so well. I'm glad to hear that. You're married, aren't you? But now I'm divorced. <gasps> I'm so sorry. It was a sad story, but now I'm fine. Try it. Dialogue 1 This is a famous Korean restaurant. What dish is that? It's 
bimbimbap. Is it delicious? Try it. Okay. It's delicious, isn't it? It was so delicious. It has rice, mixed vegetables, rice, beef, and egg. I love it. Dialogue 2 Looks like he's asking for directions. I want to help him, but I'm not good at English. Try it! He's coming! Please tell me the way to the bank. First, go straight, then turn left. The bank across the street. I got it. Thank you. That's all right. Good luck. You made it. Yeah, that's wonderful. Please take me to this address. Edward, are you busy? What's up? I have an appointment. But I don't know the way there. Please take me to this address? Okay, I'm free now. Wait, I have a call. I got it. I'll come right away. Sorry, Bella. Something has come up. It's okay. I'll take a taxi there. Hi, where are you going? Please take me to this address. Okay, I know there. How long will it take to this address? About 20 minutes. Are you in a hurry? No, I'm not. Fasten your seatbelt, please. Okay. See you later. Dialogue 1 Welcome back, Mark. Hey, Linda. How was the business trip? Many things happened. What happened? I have to go now. Let's have lunch together, shall we? Sure. I'll tell you about the business trip at lunch. Okay. See you later. Dialogue 2 I'll miss you. Me too. It's only three months. We can make video calls. I promise. We'll keep in touch. It's time. You have to go now. Okay. It will be a long flight. I'll text you when I get there. Take care. See you later. How is work going? Sorry, Diana. I'm late. It's okay, Susie. There was a car accident. Traffic was stuck. It was great seeing you again after so long. Lovely to see you. How have you been? I'm doing well. How's work going? Could be better. It pays the bills. You know. How's work going? I've been quite busy with work lately. I really want to go on a trip. Would you like to travel with me? Why not? Absolutely. Let's go to the beach. Good idea. I love the beach. Jewelry A 
can I help you? Do you have rings? Of course. Do you want to buy it for your girlfriend? Right. I will give her an engagement ring. Oh, that's great. We have a lot of engagement rings. Can you recommend some of them for me? Sure. This one is our best seller. Do a lot of people also buy it? Yes, it's the new model of this year's wedding season. I don't know much about jewelry, but it's quite beautiful. Don't worry, we only sell quality products. Okay, take it from me. Yes, your girlfriend is the happiest person. Cosmetic What's wrong with you? I always have a headache when choosing a gift for my girlfriend. A gift? For what occasion? Next week is her birthday. Oh, do you have any ideas? If I had any ideas, it wouldn't be such a headache. <laughs> I always give my girlfriend cosmetic. Hey, that's a great idea. I've never given her cosmetics. That is. You can buy lipsticks, masks, eyeliner, mascara, eyeshadow, foundation. Oh, girls use a lot of cosmetics. I choose gifts for my girlfriend a lot, so I'm also very knowledgeable about cosmetics. That's fun. Indoor game. These days, the weather is not good. Actually, it's terrible. Snow is falling more and more. So, how about our game day? Will it be canceled? No, but it will be changed a bit. What are the changes? We were going to have outdoor soccer and baseball, but due to the weather, we will play some other games. The game indoor? Right. For example? Chess, tug of war. Oh, I love tug of war. We can have a lot of indoor games, don't worry. Phone conversation. Hello. Hey, Lucy, where are you? Who are you? I'm Jenny. Don't you go to school? What? What time is it? It's 8 a.m. You're already 15 minutes late. Oh no, Jenny. Why don't you call me? I'm calling you. I called you five times, but you didn't answer me. Has the teacher arrived yet? She has already arrived. I told you you got stuck in traffic. Come here quickly. Okay, I will come right away. Be quick. Learning a second language. Have you watched the movie Squid Game on Netflix? Why not? It's incredible. Right? I'm a big fan of it. Me too. After watching it, I want to learn a second language. Do you mean Korean? Yes. I want to watch movies without subtitles. That's great! But I think it will take you a lot of time to be a master of a new language. I know, but I will give it a try. No problem. Korean is an interesting language. Maybe I will participate in a Korean class. A creative person. Our tasks are quite hard. We need a creative leader. It must be Jenny. She is the most creative person I know. But she is not here. Don't worry. I'm sure she will accept. I haven't worked with Jenny before. She is very nice, and I said above, she is a creative person. How? 
She creates new ideas, new methods, new things. Great. We really need creative things if we want to get a good mark. I really admire and believe in her. A celebrity. This song is a big hit. What? This song, Easy On Me. Oh, Adele's song, right? That's right. Adele is the celebrity I always look forward to when she comes back to music. She did? I was very happy listening to her latest song. All of her songs are legends. How long has it been since she was absent from the music scene? In six years, she has not released any new music. And her fans, including you and me, listen to her old songs. Now she is back. She always achieves success through her talent and passion. A health problem. Why are you buying drugs? Do you have any problems? Yes, some health problems. You should take care of yourself. I have a stomach ache. Oh, poor you. Have you come to visit the doctor? Yes, I have. And he gave me a lot of drugs like that. Stomach pain is a common ailment, but don't take it lightly. I have had this disease for a long time. Does being stressed or staying up all night make it worse? Right. Oh, take care. Thanks. Technological advancements. Oh, what is that? Why can I see you on the screen of the phone? Hi, Mom. It's a video call. I haven't used that before. It's so easy, Mom. You're using it now. It's amazing. I can see what you're doing. Right? It's a technological advancement. When I was young, there was no internet or video calling like this. Now with modern technology, you can call me whenever you want. Okay. Thanks to this advancement, we can talk face to face. A landmark. Do you know any landmarks in New York? Of course, I know some of them. What are they? Empire State Building, Central Park, the National 9-11 Memorial and Museum. Great, and Statue of Liberty. Oh yes, I forgot. I have visited the Statue of Liberty once. How did you feel? Indeed, it is great. I am very proud of this landmark. A lot of people all over the world know this one. It's a New York symbol. Handicraft items. Do you like handicraft items? Yes, I do, why? Tomorrow at school, there is a handicraft day. Do you want to go with me? Of course, that's great! Is there any handicraft item at home? Sure, my dad and I are really interested in handicraft items. So, in our home, there are a lot of them. For example, pottery, handwoven blankets, and quilts stitched by hand. Do you know handmade jewelry? Yes! I bought it for my mom as a gift for her birthday. That's nice. Plastic surgery. Oh, do you have something new? Don't you see? You have an eyelid lift, don't you? 
right? It's just small plastic surgery. Aren't you scared? At first, actually, I was a bit worried, but then I found out it's very safe. Where did you do it? I went to get advice from a plastic surgeon, and it's a very reputable place. Yes, only reputable places can be assured for some plastic surgeries. Success Is success important to us? Why are you suddenly asking that question? I have some problems, but just answer me. I think... not really. Why? I think the most important thing is what you learned. What you experienced in the process to reach the goal. Um... Sometimes you can fail because no one can be sure where they are successful. But when you fail, you have nothing. No way, you are also successful. You succeed when you realize a new lesson. Learn from it for the next time. Oh, that's great. Thanks for your profound advice. Lunch food. What will we eat for lunch? I was thinking of pizza. No pizza. Or burgers? Chicken burger, beef burger? No burger, no pizza, no fast food. So, what do you want to eat? I have no idea now. There's a new Chinese restaurant downtown. Let's check it out. I don't want to go out to eat. Shall we have lunch at home? Okay, what will we cook? How about southern pork salad? I like it. What about turkey carcass soup? Great, let's do it. And chicken fried steak. I'm so hungry. I'm hungry too. Let's cook now. Agree. Do we have enough kitchen ingredients? Let me check. Your favorite city. What is your favorite city? Portland, of course. Why? Because I lived there as a child, and it will always be home to me. I didn't know you lived in Portland. It's like a small town where you are always close to nature. Even though it rains nine months out of the year, those three months of summer are bliss. Because everything is green and it's not too hot or humid. What is your favorite city, Andrew? I think Madrid is the most lovely. Really? Yeah, a lovely city, and the food is first class. What do you like there? Wine, I think. The wines are exceptional. The Med Sea there is awesome, too. If I have a chance to go to Spain, I will visit Madrid. Restaurant conversation is a familiar topic that we often encounter in our daily lives. Watch the video to learn how to ask and answer in different situations when eating at a restaurant. Situation 1. Reservation Table Good evening, sir. Welcome to La Bernadin. Good evening. Sir, do you have a reservation for tonight? Yes, I'm Jason. We have a dinner reservation for 7 o'clock tonight with four people. Mr. Jason, please wait a moment in the waiting area here for our hostess. She will be here soon to seat you. Okay. Hi, sir. Please follow me to your table. Okay. Here is your table, sir. Dad, 
I want to sit next to the window. Yes, Dad. I want to sit there too, so I can see the street. Oh, sorry, but we prefer a table next to the window. Would that be possible? Sure. If you would like it, I could seat you right away. Nice. That would be great. Thank you very much. Here are our menus for food and drink. Would you like to order a drink first? Yes. What would you like for drink, boys? Coca, Daddy. I want Coca too. So two Coca and two glasses of red wine, please. Yes, sir. Please take a look at the food menu. I will be back soon for your order. Okay. Please wait a moment for your drink to be served. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Situation two: Order a drink. Hi, may I help you? I want to order some drinks. Here is our menu. Please take a look. What would you like, sweetie? I like this apple juice, Mom. Do you prefer cold apple juice or the normal one? I prefer cold apple juice. Could you put less ice because she just recovered from a sore throat? Sure, ma'am. What would you like for a drink? Can I have a cup of coffee? Yes. How do you like it? Hot or cold? Hot, please. How much sugar do you prefer? Less sugar, please. Okay. Is there anything else that you want, ma'am? Do you have cakes? Yes, we have. Please look at the other side of the menu. Do you like this chocolate cake, sweetheart? No, I don't. I like this strawberry cake, mommy. Okay, so I would like one piece of strawberry cake. Is that it? Yes, that's it. Okay, please wait a moment for your order to be served. Thank you. You're welcome, ma'am. Situation three: Order food. Hi. Here are your drinks. Thank you. So, have you decided what you would like for dinner? Yes, I would like a mixed salad and grilled chicken. I want to get grilled salmon and avocado salad. I would like a pumpkin soup and beef steak for the main course. How do you like the steak? Medium rare, please. Yes, I would like lasagna and mushroom soup. Great. Is that all? One more garlic bread, please. Okay. Please wait a moment. I will be right back. Hi. Here is your food. Oh, so fast. Thanks. Oh, is there something wrong? I didn't order this. Yes, we didn't order this food. Oh, I'm very sorry. Let me check again. We're very sorry. We delivered the wrong table. Your food will be served right away. Okay, no problem. Here is your food. We extremely apologize for the previous mistake. It's okay. Is there anything that you need? No, not for now. Thank you. Okay, I hope you will enjoy your meal. Thanks. Situation four: Order dessert. Excuse me. May I help you, sir? 
We would like something for dessert. Yes, sir. What would you like for dessert? I would like a cheesecake. I want a cheesecake too. What would you like, Tom, Mary? I'd like a strawberry cake and chocolate ice cream. I want a mango ice cream and a chocolate cake. Awesome. I will be right back. Please wait for a minute. Okay. Here are your desserts. Thank you. Tom, can I try your cake? Sure. Wow, it's so delicious, Mom. I want to have a chocolate cake too. Can you finish them all? Yes, I can. It's okay, Mom. I will eat with her. Okay then. Excuse me. How may I help you? I would like to have another chocolate cake. Okay, I will bring it right now. Thank you very much. Situation five. Pay the bill. How was your meal? It was lovely, thank you. Is there anything else I can help with? No, just bring the bill, please. All right, sir. Here is your bill. Please check it. Okay, let me see. Yes, no problem. Take your time, sir. Whenever you are ready, just call me. Oh, I'm ready now. No need to wait. Here is my card. You can take it now. Thanks, sir. Please wait a moment. Sorry, sir. We have tried several times, but your card doesn't work. Oh, really? What's wrong, though? Use mine, honey. Okay. Please take my wife's card. All right. What happened? I don't know. I still used it this morning. We can buy something later and try it again in a different place to see if it works or not. Yes. If not, I will go to the bank and order a new card. Sir, here you go. Is it okay? Yes, sir. It worked. Everything is good. Thanks for dining with us today. I hope you have a great night. Thank you. Bye. Situation six. Customers' feedback. Here is your card. Thanks. How was your meal? The meal was amazing. We love it. We're glad that you had a great time here. Do you mind if I ask you for some feedback? No problem. Just go ahead. Thank you. We really want to get feedback from our customers so we can improve. Okay. So, what do you think about our service? Oh, well. I think you have really great customer service. Yes, all staff are very friendly and helpful. Thanks. May I ask if there is anything you are still unsatisfied with? Overall, the food is great. It was served very quickly as well. Just one thing is the fish dish today is a bit salty. Yes, I think so too. Thanks for your feedback. I will note it down for our kitchen. How about other food? Other food is delicious. Thank you a lot for your time. We really appreciate your help. You're welcome. Have a great night. Thanks. You too.
There are many kinds of festivals in the world, such as religious festivals, arts festivals, food and drink festivals, seasonal festivals, and harvest festivals, etc. Let's take a look at some festivals in the U.S. with our characters. Our semester will end in two weeks. And vacation are about to begin. Wonderful! Have you got any plans for your vacation? I'm going to my grandma's house in New Mexico. And you, Isaac? I will read books, try a new sport, and practice drawing more. Look, is that Neil? That's right, this is him. Who is next to him? What a coincidence! You are here too! Let me introduce him. This is Nam. He comes from Vietnam. I moved to the U.S. with my family a few months ago. Nice to meet you guys. I'm Vera. Glad to meet you. My name is Isaac. It's a pleasure to meet you. What are you talking about? Our vacation. I heard there's many famous and interesting festivals in the United States. Do you plan to join them? That's a good idea. But on this vacation, none of my favorite festivals takes place. What is your favorite festival? The Balloon Fiesta. Have you ever heard about it, Nam? Not yet. When does it take place? It takes place in early October in New Mexico. What do the people do during this festival? Participants release their balloons into the sky. There are many events such as fairs and concerts and more. I've seen a few short videos of it online, and it's so beautiful. Yes, many local artists use balloons as a favorite subject for their paintings. What is your favorite balloon, Vera? Stagecoach balloon. It's very unique. Sounds great. Do you go to this festival every year? No. But I went three times with my family. What has been your best experience at this festival? Hundreds of balloons flew over my head. It's magical and wonderful. And at night, the hot air balloons had lights and went up to the sky. What a beautiful night! I've been to the balloon fiesta before. So beautiful. It's your favorite festival, isn't it? I like it, but the festival I like best is Coachella. Oh, I knew this. Every year, my sister went to Coachella and talk about how hot it was. What festival is it? Coachella is a popular music and arts festival. It's very popular with young adults and people who love live music. Like me. The first time I attended this festival was last year. Did you go there alone? No, with my brother. It was more fun when you go there with someone than alone. Where did it take place, Isaac? It takes place in California. A lot of popular artists and bands perform at Coachella. It must have been a great night of music. Yeah, there are many kinds of music. Rock, pop, hip-hop, and electronic dance music, etc. You can find Hollywood stars walking around the festival. Really? Have you met any Hollywood stars there? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> My brother told me that. It's really interesting. You should go there. 
How about you, Neil? What festival do you like? Tribeca Film Festival. It's great. It takes place each spring in New York City. What happened during that festival? It showcases films, episodic talks, music, games, arts, and immersive programming. Why do you like it? People come to show off their new film, and I like that. I love movies. I think I have to go. I have football practice with my team. When does your football match take place? It takes place two days before our vacation. Let's come and watch Isaac's football match. Good idea. Would you like to come, Mom? Of course. It's awesome. I am not as good as Messi or Ronaldo, but it's also worth watching. We'll come. I have to go now. Bye, and see you later. I also have to go. I have a date with my friend. Nice to meet you today, Nam. See you next time. Bye, guys. See you again. Goodbye. Have a nice date. Let's come to my house for dinner today. I said I made a new friend with my mom. That's you. And my mom wants to invite you to dinner. So great! Thank you. I want to buy some fruit. Do you know where to buy them? Let me show you. Hello, I'm Aria, Neil's mother. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Nam. Hello, Nam. My name is Andy. I'm six years old. Nice to meet you, Andy. And this is for you. Thank you for inviting me to dinner. Thank you. I am preparing dinner. I hope it suits your taste. It will be delicious. Where are you from, Nam? I'm from Vietnam. If there is a chance, I want to travel there. Let's go together. I will be your guide. Yeah. What festival do you like best in the U.S., Andy? Halloween. It takes place on 31st of October. I know that, but I haven't had a chance to participate yet. This year, let's join us. Thanks for your invitation. What do people usually do on Halloween? We carve pumpkins into scary pumpkins. Decorate their house to look as creepy as possible. I love trick or treat. Children dress up in costumes and go house to house asking for food or money. What are your favorite activities for Halloween? Go to the theater and find scary movies to watch. I like New York's Village Halloween Parade. Parade? Yes, it's a street parade every year on Halloween night. What do people do in the parade? Participants wear creepy costumes. There is large puppets in the parade. In addition to the puppets, there are many marching bands that participate each year. That sounds interesting. So. What festival do you like best in the U.S., Nam? I moved to the U.S. with my family a few months ago. I don't know many festivals in the U.S., but I like Christmas. 
I love Christmas too. I love it too because it brings a long holiday to us. What do you usually do at Christmas? My family and I buy some presents for relatives and friends. We decorate our house and Christmas tree. With little angels, beautiful bells, and some little Santa Clauses on the tree. And a big star on top of the tree. My mom cooks a lot of food such as turkey, Christmas cake, chicken wings, and sausages. Do you remember last Christmas meal? Yes, I remember. What happened last Christmas? Last year, Neil and I put gifts secretly under the pillows of my parents to surprise them. My parents secretly also put some gifts inside the stockings. It's interesting. Everyone was surprised. Yes, it's really fun. This year, let's have a Christmas party together and exchange gifts. Okay, sounds interesting. What are you talking about? We talk about Halloween and Christmas. And last year, the turkey you cooked for Christmas was delicious. Thank you. Dinner is ready. Who's ready for dinner? Me. Let's have dinner together. Let's eat. Thanks for your dinner. Dad, have you seen my notebook anywhere? I don't know. You should look for it on the bookshelf. I might have put it there when I cleaned everything up. Okay, Dad. I've been searching for it for a whole week. You should keep things neat. What is this, Dad? I don't think I've seen it before. Ah, that is my old photo album. I just found it in the storehouse. Where was this? It was my grandpa's house. Now, it's Uncle Thomas's house. It looks so weird. Who's this? It's me. I was so cute. It was when we visited Uncle Thomas. Yeah, time flies. Let's move on. What's that next one? Wow, is that you? Yeah, it's me. Oh my God. Look at you. You were so handsome. I'm still handsome now, boy. You must have attracted many beautiful girls back then. I'm so jealous. Girls make me shy. Not really. I was not really good at communicating. I was not able to strike up a conversation with any girls. Maybe I take after you. Yeah. I always blushed when I tried to talk to any girl. Like father, like son. So, how did you and mom fall in love if you were shy of girls? She is my first love. Unbelievable. Yeah, it is a long love story to look back on. Let me tell you how it went. Yeah, this project needs to be done by next month. It is the last deadline. Okay, I understand. I'm going to send you the brief as soon as possible. Yeah, that's great. I look forward to hearing from you soon. Oh my, what is this? A handkerchief? What a lovely handkerchief. Everyone, whose is this? It is mine! I'm so sorry. I was fixing up my stuff over there. 
Unfortunately, this handkerchief slipped out. It's fine. Here you go. Thank you so much. Sorry for disturbing the two of you. That's all right. Take care. Okay, carry on. When do you need to have the design? Um, mm -hmm. it's okay. Sorry, are the next two weeks fine? I don't want to make it a rush because quality is the most important thing. We can team up with the marketing department. Uh, I see. Keep, keep up. You want any popcorn? Yeah, I see. Hold on. Are you listening? <gasps> yeah. Oh, uh, sorry. What were you saying? What's up? Are you okay? I've never seen you like this before. Do you remember the girl who took the handkerchief back? Yeah, I do. You tell me about her all the time. I think I fell in love the moment I met her. Oh my God, you just saw her. You mean it's love at first sight? Yeah, I think so. Oh my, it is so incredible. So are you thinking about her all the time? Yeah. To be honest, I'm thinking about how I can meet her again. Then we can fall in love. We will get married after that and have some beautiful kids. I'm so happy. Are you kidding me? Do you think you can meet her again? You just bumped into her. I don't know. This is the first time I have had the motivation to chase a girl. What will you do? I'm pretty sure she is an employee in one of the buildings nearby. I think so. I will wait for her at that building. One day she will come by there. Good luck. Hey, good morning. I caught up with you. Who are you? Do I know you, bro? Oh, I'm so sorry. I got the wrong person. Hey man, why are you following me? No, no, I'm so sorry. Are you a criminal? No, I'm not. I think I have you mistaken for my friend. So sorry. Oh my, I'm so sorry. It is fine, don't worry. <gasps> oh, it is you. Ah, it is you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm William. Hi, is your office nearby? No, but I am here every day. I just wanted to look for you. I almost gave up finding you. Luckily, here you are. I met you today, thank God. Why are you looking for me? To be honest, I've had a crush on you since the last time. I want to get to know more about you. Can you give me a tiny chance? Yeah, nice to make friends with you. Could you give me your number, please? Sure. Great, I thought you were going to turn me down. Do you have any paper? Oh my, I don't. What should we do? Could you write it down on my hand? Sure. Here you are. I'm a bit busy. I have to leave now. Thanks so much. I will send you a message today. Nice to meet you. See ya. Oh my. It is raining, but it's okay. I found her. And I have her number. Bravo. 
Okay, it's raining hard. You are soaked through. You might even catch a cold. Get in here. So that's how you met my mother. Then when did you send her a message? No, no, that girl is not your mom. Your mom is the girl who gave me the umbrella. What? Plot twist, huh? You know, because I showered in the rain, the number in my hand was washed away. And then you were not able to contact her, right? Yeah, I lost touch with her from that day. But why didn't you try to wait for her one more time? I did, obviously, but I never saw her there again. Why did you fall in love with mom? All the time I waited for Lily at the grocery store, Rose always took care of me. She gave me a hat when it was hot. She gave me food when I was hungry. We also <laughs> talked to each other many times. Finally, I fell for her. Then I asked her out. We've been together ever since. But you've had just one romance, didn't you? Actually, I just had a crush on Lily. It's just a one-sided love. We didn't even know each other. Your mom is my only love. Haha, <laughs> Josh. You need to know that in the beginning, I just wanted to sell stuff to your dad. I was a part-time clerk in that grocery store. He sat there <laughs> waiting for his first love every day. Unexpectedly, we loved each other. Anyway, do you want to go eat out? That's a great idea. It's a long time since we've all had time together. Linda discovered her husband bought gifts and flowers and he is going to have an important date without telling her. She was very angry and decided to investigate. Let's watch the video to see what happened and learn about slang. What's up? You are looking snatched today. Nothing much! Come on, tell me. Andrew and I have a date tonight. It has been a long time since we've eaten out, so... I heard that you guys are going to have a long holiday together. Oh my god, Andrew must tell everything to Jackson. We're going to travel to Asia for two weeks. Awesome. When do you leave? I'm not sure. Andrew is still checking flight tickets. You are very happy. I'm sure that Andrew loves you so much. I'm so jealous. Come on, Jackson also loves you much. Marriage is not the same as love. What's up? Your marriage is so happy, isn't it? Recently, I have had some bad thoughts. Tell me. I really don't want to chit-chat about my husband, but, you know, it's a bit stressful. I've never gotten married, but maybe I can help. Yesterday, by chance, I saw a message on Jackson's phone, and it is too out there. Whose was it? I don't know. It's from a creep. What does it say? Dude, you forgot a gift box at my house. This one has a card written, It was a gift from your sweetheart. Do you want to come by my house to collect it, or should I bring it home for you? By the way, don't forget we have an important party tomorrow. The last dangerous person is your wife. Keep this secret from your wife. Call me back when you have time. See ya. Peace. Oh my god! 
Do you think the same as what I'm thinking? Yeah, that's how it goes. Did you ask Jackson directly? Yeah, absolutely. I asked if he had any important meeting tomorrow, but he said no. But I don't believe him this time. He was so nervous when I asked him. Lame. You should have asked him until he gave you a reasonable answer. I did, but he tried to ignore communicating with me at that time. That's weird. It's not what Jackson usually does. I think he has another woman, or am I overthinking? I think maybe he is misunderstood. You should ask him clearly before deciding anything. I'm not in the mood for it. I think I should follow him today. Then I'm going to catch him red-handed. Same here. I'm in. Cool. His assistant told me he has a meeting in one hour. Please follow those wheels. Thank you. I get it. Where's he going? A jewelry store. Oh my God! Should we come closer? No way! That is sketchy, dude. Get down. Sorry. Calm down if you want to see who he's going to meet. Okay. He must have an affair with someone. One hundred percent. Why does he need to buy jewelry, flowers, and cakes? Isn't he arranging a romantic date with a chick? Why not me? I'm his wife. Oh my God! Calm down. Nothing is for sure. Why not? Take a deep breath. Linda, he stopped at a restaurant. Let me see. What's he doing? He's just standing there. Maybe he's waiting for someone. He is cheating on me. I'm gonna kill him. Oh, Andrew's calling. Hi, Bay. Honey, why do you say that in a whisper? Ah, I'm in a library. What's up, Bay? Nothing. I just miss you. I miss you too. Don't forget we have a date today. Oh yeah, I remember. I will come on time. See you, Bay. Love you. Love you. Bye. Oh my. I almost forgot our date today. You should leave now. If not, you might be late. Yeah, let me check on how far it is. Well, what a coincidence! Our restaurant is the one that Jackson went to. Really? Yeah, I will come to see what is happening. Then I will call you. Okay, I will wait for you here. Hi, Jackson. Is this your gift box? Yeah, it belongs to my wife. I forgot it at Andrew's house. Thank God he found out and brought it here for me. Oh my, Jackson, you're so sweet. Why didn't Victoria pick up my phone? What is happening out there? I can't wait here anymore. I should come in. I need to see everything in person. <gasps> Jackson, I didn't think you're that kind of man. I'm so disappointed. Linda, you're here. Oh my! I knew it. Now everything is clear. You don't need to explain anything. 
Excuse me, everyone. Look at my husband. He received a pinky gift from his lover. How romantic. Enjoy your lovely date with your love. Your wife will leave right now. Look what you've done to your dear wife who loves you so much. Linda, don't shout. Why are you always like this? You know, though you have some bad habits, I forgive all of them. You know how much I love you, right? You did this because you love me? Linda, calm down. It is not what you are thinking. Listen to me. Victoria, what is happening? Look! Oh my god! Is it? Yeah, Andrew just proposed to me. And she said, yes, we're getting hitched. So everything is... Yeah, Jackson just helped me to buy something for this proposal party. Congrats! Why didn't you tell me, Jackson? You're Victoria's bestie. I was afraid the plan would be revealed, so I told Jackson to not tell you. I'm so sorry. But you didn't even invite me. Check your phone, Linda. I called you a thousand times. Oh, my. My bad. I didn't even have the mind to keep an eye on my phone. Luckily, you're still here by chat. I was going to call you to come, but my phone ran out of battery. However, Jackson, what about the message from a stranger about the gift box? That's Andrew's number. He changed his phone, remember? I haven't saved it yet. What is that gift box for? Who is she? Is everyone covering for them? She's my sister. I had no time to give the gift box back to Jackson, so she just helped me. Really? Yeah, I have a husband and two children. They're over there. Oh my. I'm so embarrassed. I'm so sorry, Jackson. That's fine, but you know, you need to trust me. I love you and I will never cheat on you. I get it. I also love you. I know I have many bad habits. I will try to get rid of them. This gift is for you. Thank you so much. Would you like to travel to Asia? Oh my. Really? That is so sick. Yeah. Andrew and I are booking tickets for us. We can travel together this time. You are so sweet, Jackson. I'm hungry. Let's have dinner together. Have a blast. Slang is vocabulary, words, phrases, and linguistic usages of an informal register, common in spoken conversation but avoided in formal writing. Snatched. Used to take the place of on fleek, perfect, on point, or fashionable. What's up? Hey, what are you doing? Oh my god. Used to describe excitement or surprise. Sick. Awesome. Lame. The opposite of cool or fantastic. Laid back. Relaxed or calm. Cool. Fantastic. I get it. I understand. Same here. I agree. Sweetheart. Lover. Creep. Stranger. Dude. My friend. Chit chat. Informal conversation about matters that are not important. See ya. See you later. Wheels. Car. Sketchy. Something risky. Out there. Strange. That's how it goes to show acceptance of an unfair situation. Bay. Your significant other. An attractive individual. 
Chick, a woman. I feel you. I understand and empathize with you. Getting hitched. Getting married. Bestie. Best friend. My bad. My fault. A blast. A very fun event. No biggie. No problem. I'm in. I'm able to join. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment on my video. Please subscribe to Learn English with Jessica channel to watch more helpful videos. Goodbye.